Hey Aries and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. This is going to be a general reading, therefore the messages here are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, I do offer those, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you. Once again, the reading here is intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Okay, got the Devil here. Five of Wands, the Two of Wands, Three of Wands, you've got a lot of fire here in your spread, a lot of fire, wow, the Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant, okay, I see, there's definitely something going on here, Aries, with either yourself or a romantic um, energy here that you're connected to. Okay, there's a lot of, I feel like there's a very strong, fire is such a strong primal energy as you would know, right? It's, you know, it's, there's such an energy of lust, passion, it's very intense, the emotional intensity here, and the emotional, um, and just the intensity of the energies here within the reading is insane, okay? There's definitely, um, I feel like some, someone has sparked something within you, or you've sparked something within them here, Aries. So let's begin with the devil here. The devil here is it can be about enslavement, it can be about feeling trapped, it can also represent temptation. Often I feel like when the devil does show up in the card, it's like um oppression or it's a sense of addiction. It can it's got this obsessive or addictive quality to it. So look, there could be you could be consumed here, in, intoxicated by a certain romantic energy, okay, by a certain romantic connection. Um, it could be that your person here is just as consumed or obsessed with you here. It's something the devil shows, the devil is shown to have dominion over Adam and Eve here, okay, and I don't know about you guys, but if you look at the chains, they appear as though they hang loosely, so those bonds here, are, those chains are loosely wrapped one another, which to me indicates a self-voluntary entrapment, okay? So it's something that, it's like an energy that you can't walk away from. I do feel like it's, there's no physical chains here, so it's nothing that sort of, there's nothing here to keep you here, but I feel like it's a choice. You choose to stay or you choose not to pull away here, okay? Um... A lot of passion, a lot of lust. Notice the her tail here is uh, there's a flame on his tail. Sorry, rather than hers. Um, there's nothing wrong. I feel like there's nothing wrong in being really well, unless it becomes an unhealthy obsession. But I feel like there's nothing wrong in sort of. You know, and having a bit of fun, but so as long as that fun, I feel like, doesn't hurt you or doesn't hurt the other person. Okay, because for 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 some of you, I'm getting an energy that may it feels a little bit codependent on one another. It feels a little bit addictive to the point where it can feel destructive. Because you're coming up as all this ones energy. I mean, you've got the five of ones, you've got the two of ones, you've got the three of ones, the ace of ones. For some of you, I feel like maybe you're, because the devil, speak, the devil speaks to us of temptation, so some of you, I feel like maybe you are committed. You're in a partnership or you're in a relationship or in a connect, communication, sorry, in a connection with someone else, and then there's sort of a third party, okay? There's someone else who caught your eye. There's someone else whom you're romantically involved with or, or you're romantically interested in, okay? And it's all about, you know, there's an internal conflict with the five of wands. There's friction here within your energies or within a connection. There's this someone here is at war, you know, they're battling their head up against their heart who will win here. So it feels like there's a lot of unease and unsettled energies here. For some of you, I'm seeing that you're going to have to make a choice, okay? Some of you, with the devil here, I feel like some of you are going to have to choose the short-term pleasure okay, that a connection gives you up against the long-term pain that ultimately it's, um, 
giving you here okay so you're gonna have to make that choice for others of you the devil could represent an ex okay so some of you may still have lingering feelings towards an ex or some of you may still have that the ex he has an addictive quality or energy over you some someone here i feel like has someone has you consumed or you're consumed by something or someone okay and again i feel like if if you're just having a little bit of fun and it you know if, if no one's getting hurt not yourself and not this person and you know no one else then i don't see the harm but if some of you i feel like you're involved in something that is causing you harm okay and it's causing you damage it's causing you damage to your self-esteem or to your health your mental your emotional your spiritual because the, de the devil the baphomet he has the wings of a bat and bat is a creature that sucks the life force out of its spray so some of you i feel like whilst you're having your fun you're not realizing the the repercussions the long-term pain the consequences you know of this situation here um two of wands energy here okay i'm seeing that some of you are doing a lot of it's almost like you're trying to be cautious some of you i feel like you're doing a lot of planning um, and a lot of thinking okay you're planning for what's ahead or you're setting a lot of expectations for something or for someone and the message that I get is some of you are being a little bit too cautious here and sometimes being too cautious can lead you not to take action or it can really set you back or it can lead to missed opportunities so some of you I feel like you're gonna have to be a little bit less cautious because you, you've been doing all of this planning or you've been setting all of these expectations but i don't you know and now's the time to take action okay because some of you have been in your head about something or someone for too long but the three of wands tells me that there is whatever it is that you've been planning or thinking about there is forward progression and there is forward uh, momentum here okay so it's now is the time to take this plan or to take this id and go with it turn it into a realistic plan for the future here Okay, now's the time to progress forward because I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands, you've got new beginnings. So whatever it is that I feel like some of you, you're going to have to step out of your cocoon. Okay, and it's it's something that I feel like has left you feeling very unsettled, very uneasy. It's like a, some of you have been, you've, you've been needing or wanting to make a decision or a commitment here. But I feel like some of you have not been ready to do so because you've just been, you know, you've, You've been trying to explore different avenues or just explore, you know, the possibility of each decision here. I feel like the two of wands along with the three of wands, because, you know, this is two, three, two consecutive numbers from the same element is encouraging you to push forward with a decision or make a commitment and commit to that commitment is what I'm seeing. Because I feel like for a lot of you, there is forward momentum. So if you've been stagnated with a choice or if you've been stagnated in a romantic connection, I'm seeing that there is forward progression and forward movement. Some of you have the chance to make adjustments to your relationships here. Okay? Some of you, you need to communicate with your current romantic energy about how to move forward from something or, you know, to create a path together into the future that you both want to move towards is what I'm getting. Because you do have the Ace of Wands here and Aces are all about new beginnings, right? They, they usher in new beginnings here, new chapters here, and I get a sense that a lot of you are ready, because you're on the edge of a precipice here, um, Aries, and there's something that I feel like you've been wanting to move towards, or something you've been thinking about doing and actioning, and I feel like it's great that, you know, you've thought it out so much so, but again, I feel like some of you are just being that little bit too cautious. It's now to take, it's now time to take action, you know, you either will or you won't. It either will happen or it won't, and even if it doesn't happen the first time around, you know, there's always, there's never not one way of doing something, right? There's always different alternatives or pathways that you can take. So for a lot of you, I feel like the decision that you make now, and it's important that you do, will have this profound ability to allow you to push forward here onto a new path, okay? So I am seeing new beginnings for some of you. This could reference a new beginning with, with an X or with a connecting energy from your past here. And perhaps some of you, I feel like maybe you need to start fresh with someone whom, like this person, I don't feel like this person that you're connected with, I don't feel like they're a bad energy, I don't, but I just feel like the way in which the two of you are going about this connection, okay, something I feel like, and some of you, look, you're obsessing over someone who I feel like is equally obsessed about you, but it feels unhealthy to the point where you're too co-dependent and too co-reliant on one another. So I feel like it's important to 
you know, you have, I feel like there's so much passion and so much emotional intensity that you have for this person that this person has for you that it's important to express it in a healthy manner. And some of you, I feel like I'm seeing commitment come up, okay? For some of you, what I see is a casual arrangement or a no strings attached type of situation that started off uh, casual. I feel like will eventuate into a commitment, will result into something long term or into a relationship or something stable. For others, I feel like maybe that's what you need. Okay, some of you, I'm hearing that you're someone wants to put a title to a connection, a label to it. Someone else is a little bit more, they're feeling indifferent about it. And, you know, there's these opposing influence, opposing energies here. Okay, so I feel like it's important to talk to your partner, um, to talk to this energy and compromise. Because I'm seeing there's so much, I feel like there's just so much energy here and so much romantic energy and so much romantic passion that I feel like you're not really expressing yourselves in any other way apart from physical intimacy. So some of you, I feel like you need to nurture that emotional intimacy and get to know um, one another in that regard okay guys and these are your messages so i just want to thank you all for watching and for listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now